Welcome to DCC. This is a video solution of question number C of latest contest of core forces round 8 73 div 2 problem name is counting orders. So in this question we have given two array A and B such that in the, the elements of array A are uh, unique and no condition on array B. All right. So find we have to find the number of ways to reorder A such that A is greater than B I for all I for all I one, uh, one, two, I. 1 to n and we have to print answer modulo 29 plus 7 so what the question is saying so we have given two arrays a, a and b so what you have to print the number of ways such that we we can we can distribute we can arrange array a such that it is greater than uh, means the mirror image of the uh, mirror image like bi is a is greater than bi okay so let's take first example after solving after solving this example we can we can solve this question very easily so what you have to do so the base condition is that we, we have to first sort the array a and b and we have to check for every i that the element should be greater than the ai should be greater than bi if any ith position or condition violates then my answer can't come so we have to print directly zero okay so we have to print directly zero because if if it is not possible in sorted or manner so how we can uh, arrange so okay then after sorting we have to say that how our answer can uh, how our answer can come so our answer can come like this two okay we take one man okay so this is two so i have to say that this two can take how uh, can take how many positions like this two can take this zeroth position and this oneth position it can't go here because if two goes here then our ai is greater than bi condition violate okay so for this two we have a uh, two two positions left now we will go for four now for this four we have again two positions one and three so you can think that why i have not taken this because this condition is already taken by two in uh, in taking this okay because this 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 four has already come here by is already covered by this two so we will not take the previous position i, I will take from the here only from the uh, from the ith position only so this for also two now for again this also two because we can't afford five equal to five only less than element is then okay now for six also these two and now for eight this two so we'll multiply all the all the all the position which will get which can take by ith integer so here are five uh, two into two into two into so here is two into two raised to the power five which is equal to 32 okay so for this first test case the answer is 32 so how you will we have we know how to solve this question but how we will say that this 2 is greater than how how much element the you can use binary search which will take login time for every ith operation and the total time complexity will complexity will be n login okay so i have taken so if I see my code then you will understand very easily so I have taken input A and B, then I have sorted, and then I have checked the condition that if any ith element violates my uh, rule, so I will directly print zero and I will return no further operations. But if the condition is true for all i, now I have to print my answer. So I, what I will do? This is my for, uh, ith element of AI, and th then I have taken lower bound. What the lower bound function do? It returns me the lower bound means if the array like in this for this lower bound it will return me the index i have, I have done my need search in this array b so for this two this array will return me three means index number two okay for four this array will be uh, return me this index so hope you have understood what uh, my lower bound function do so it is my lower bound function 
and I have T and I have uh, subtracted I because I don't want previous answer okay and then I have uh, simply multiplied my answer into T and I have done mod directly print answer so hope you have understood the question if you have any doubt you can put the comment in our comment section and I will definitely respond to it thank you so much